meteorologist Brian James on Pro News 7. Now, sports coverage in the panhandle spirit with Gail Steen. Two frustrating years in the 1A state semifinals. Wellington head coach Wade Williams and his team swore they would not only get back to this point, but take the Skyrockets where they've never been before. A state championship appearance, the first state championship appearance in school history. One year later, here we are. 1A Division II state semis, Wellington versus Albany in Lubbock. Battle of Unbeaten. Also, a rematch from 1991 when Coach Williams' dad, James, faced Albany. They fell short. This year, though, Wellington number one. Ready for some revenge. First quarter, third down. First drive of the game, setting the tone early. Terry Gilbert, what an incredible playoff run this guy has. It continues. Little juke and jive. He's gone 62 yards. Two-point conversion, good. We're not even two minutes in. It's 8 nothing. Well, like the next drive, another march. Capped off by the senior. Clark Ashmore, right up the middle. That was easy. Another two-point conversion by Ashmore. It's 16 nothing. And the defense, they were everywhere. Albany ran 26 plays in the first half. Muster just 23 yards, stifled by that front seven all day. Second quarter, sometimes when you're number one, you, you get the breaks. Gilbert going to come dancing outside, dances down the sideline, somehow stays in bounds, going to get hit, coughs it up in the end zone, but it's an O-lineman's dream. It's Will Baumgartner there for the touchdown, 22 nothing on the recovery. You know he's loving it. 22-0 before the half, they're pouring it on. Ashmore, 38-2 as a starter, as a four-year starter. Finds a hole. There he goes, doing his best. Terry Gilbert impersonation. And yeah, Clark, you're just as fast on this play anyway. 66 yards, 28-0. All Wellington. But Coach Williams, a little nervous. Albany came back. Take the score down. Albany came back from a 21 deficit, 21 deficit, 1991. But not today. First possession, third quarter. Gilbert taking over, breaks it outside to the house. 32 yards. His second, his 20th. Of the playoffs, it's 34 0. Next possession, nailed in the coffin, untouched, up the middle, 262 yards on the day, 50 on this one alone. He's got 985 yards in the four playoff games, 21 touchdowns. Celebration is on for the first time. These kids, this community is going to see what it's like to play in a state championship. And it's, it's great for us, our kids, and, you know, the town of Wellington, uh, my coaching staff, you know, and our families, the time that we put in in the last last few years and getting this program where it is. And <laughs> it was, I, I'm walking, and I, I was like, okay, he's got to be wrong. He was moving around, and then I was kind of standing there, and then I thought he got in, and then I saw the ball, and I just jumped for it. Thought, I thought about it before, but I never thought about it really happened. Yeah, that's good. It was wonderful. I bet dreams of for it for about it all my life, and <laughs> dream, my dream finally came true. Uh, it's just a really good feeling for these uh, seniors that have, that have been here before, and uh, we're just really proud to say that we, we're going. We're going to the, uh, the big house. Going to the big house, you are AT&T Stadium, Jerry World, Thursday, 1 p.m. Gets a very good Falls City team. Don't know much about them. We'll be in Wellington this week, and we'll get you updated on who this team is. But Wellington, going to be hard to stop. 13-0 and just burying people. Congrats to Coach Williams. One more game left. Let's hope they can do it. To the college rings, 